commanded that all Jews depart from Rome. And because he was of the same craft, he abode with them and wrought, for by their occupation they were tent makers. And he reasoned in the synagogue every Sabbath and persuaded Jews and Greeks. And when Silas and Timotheus were come from Macedonia, Paul was pressed in the spirit and testified to the Jews that Jesus was Christ. And when they opposed and blasphemed, he shook his raiment and said, Your blood be upon your own heads. I am clean. From henceforth, I will go unto the Gentiles. And he departed thence and went into a house of a certain one named Justice, one that worshipped the Lord, whose house was joined hard to the synagogue. And Crispus, the chief ruler of the synagogue, believed in the Lord with all his house, and many of the Corinthians, hearing, believed and were baptized. Then spake the Lord to Paul in the night by a vision, saying, Do not be afraid, but speak. Hold not thy peace, for I am with thee, and no man shall set on thee to hurt thee, for I have much people in this city. And he continued there a year and six months, teaching the word of God among them. And when Gallio had been made the deputy of Achaia, the Jews made insurrection against Paul with one accord and brought him to the judgment seat. And when Paul was, uh, and they said, this man, this fellow persuaded the men to worship God contrary to the law. And when Paul was now about to open his mouth and respond to this, the Bible then tells us that Gallio spoke up and said, look, if, if this be a matter of you know, wickedness or lewd conduct, wicked lewdness or wrong. He said, then uh, it would be fine, reasonable for you to bring this to me. But he said, uh, if you do not have anything to bring to me but your own issues about words and customs and uh, things pertaining to your law, oh, you Jews, he says, you look to it. He says, I'm not going to judge on matters such as this. And then the Bible goes on to tell us that he drove them from the judgment seat. And then the Greeks of the city went and they got Sosthenes, the ruler of the synagogue at that time, and they beat him severely and uh, drove. And then they, uh, from that point on, Paul stayed a little while longer than sailed on from that point. But. Uh, that's the basic account that's found in the book of Acts that tells us about how Paul was brought to this place and the charges that were filed and the unwillingness of Gallio to deal with any of that. And uh, the Bible does end that section by saying that when they beat Sosthenes, Gallio cared for none of these things. He didn't, he didn't even get involved with it.